Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide a decimal by a decimal. So let's jump into our two examples here. And for number one, we have five and 76 hundredths divided by three tenths. So let's set our problem up. Five and 76 hundredths is our dividend. So it goes underneath the division bar here. It's the number that we are splitting or dividing up. Now 3 tenths is our divisor. It's the outside number. So now that we're set up, we need to ask ourselves a very important question before we start this problem. Is the divisor a whole number? And in this case, that uh, 3 tenths there, that is not a whole number. We need to have a whole number on the outside there, that divisor, in order to go through our division process. So we can do this by multiplying that divisor by a power of 10, and therefore creating a whole number divisor. So we can do this by moving the decimal to the right once. That will give us a whole three, right? Moving the decimal to the right once will push the digits to the correct place. It'll push that three over to the ones place. So moving the decimal once to the right, or you can think of it as sliding the three over to the ones place, we multiplied that outside number by 10. So if you do something to the outside number, that divisor, you have to do the same thing to the inside. Remember, whatever you do to the outside, you have to do to the inside. So we moved the decimal once to the right and therefore shifted each digit one spot to the left. Let's do the same thing to the inside, the dividend. Now we're ready to go as far as setting up our problem with a whole divisor. So we have those arrows underneath there. So let's rewrite our problem so it's a little more neat. So we have three as our divisor. And for our dividend, we have 57 and 6 tenths. So now, is our divisor whole? Yes, we can start our problem. So once your divisor is whole, you bring your decimal straight up and go through your division process. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So five divided by three, how many whole groups of three out of five? Well, one. One times three is three. Subtract, we get two. Bring down the seven. 27 divided by three is nine. Nine times three, 27. Subtract, we get zero. Bring down this six here. And we end with six divided by three, which is two. Two times three is six. Subtract, and we get a clean cut zero here, and a final answer of 19 and two tenths. So let's do another example here in order to get this down a little better. And number two is going to be a little different, and you'll see why here in a second. So our dividend, 86 and 4 tenths, is the number being divided or split up, and that goes underneath the division bar. So 86 and 4 tenths divided by 12 hundredths. So 12 hundredths is our divisor. It goes on the outside. Now, let's ask ourselves the important question. Is the divisor a whole number? No. So we need to make it a whole number in order to go through the process. So let's multiply by a power of 10. Let's multiply by 10, and now the decimal will be between the one and the two. Is that a whole number? No. So we need to multiply by 10 again. So 10 times 10, we need to multiply that outside number by 100 in order to push the digits to the correct place values in order to make it a whole number. So we need to move the decimal twice or multiply that 86 and 4 tenths by 100 as well. Remember, whatever you do to the outside, you do to the inside. So once, twice, and we can fill that with a placeholder zero there. And our decimal goes at the end. So now we actually have a whole uh, dividend. So our new problem is going to be 12, and on the inside, our dividend is 8,640. And that decimal is at the end. So we don't really need it when it comes to whole numbers, but we can put it there in case we need to extend with zeros for remainder purposes. So we'll see if we'll need that decimal uh, as we go through this problem. So let's go through our steps. 
So 8 divided by 12, well, we can't pull any whole groups of 12 out of 8, so we need to go to 86. So how many whole groups of 12 out of 86? Well, 7 times 12 is 84. That's as close as we are going to get. So 7, 7 times 12 is 84. Subtract, we get 2. Bring down the 4. So 24 divided by 12. How many whole groups of 12 out of 24? Well, 2. 2 times 12 is 24. Subtract, we get 0. Now do not stop here. We did not go all the way over to the ones place here, so our answer is not 72. We need to keep going because we still have numbers to bring down here. So let's bring our zero down. And we have zero divided by 12. So how many whole groups of 12 out of zero? Well, zero. Zero times 12 is zero. Subtract, and we get zero. So remember, our decimal's at the end there, so it's just a whole number. And our final answer is going to be 720. So there you have it. There's how you divide a decimal by a decimal. Remember, is the divisor a whole number? If not, we need to multiply it by a power of 10 in order to make it a whole number. Whatever you do to the outside, you have to do to the inside. So whatever you do to the divisor, you have to do to the dividend. And then you can rewrite your problem, go through the division process, and that will bring you to the correct answer. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.